looking at full-grown, mature bear oak. <laughs> it's a shrub. Now you got an oak that stays a shrub. And it's a shrub, a real dry, well, it's not dry today. <laughs> Very dry, coarse, rocky soils where you can find that thing. So now, if there's acorns on a little shrub like this, and we didn't get any yesterday, uh, you know it's bare oak. The problem is when there isn't, and all the other oaks at some point in their lives are about this big, right? <laughs> so is it a little bare oak, or is it just a little oak or something else? Now one, it'll be kind of shrubby, and our other oaks, when they're little, are already starting to look like they're trying to reach for the sky, right? This gets very shrubby. There's a couple other good things about it. The underside of the leaf is very, very fuzzy, almost velvety, like a fine, very dense, fine hairs, like a velvet. And that fuzz, that dense, fuzzy color, gets down on the stem as well. So the stem is dusty, fuzzy looking. Kind of looks like, who's ever lived on it? Who lives on a dirt road? In the summer, everything gets coated in that really fine dust. The underside of the leaf kind of looks like that, and the twig looks like that. A dusty fuzz. And then the last good thing, I think, is the lateral buds are as big or even bigger than the clustered terminal buds. So they have really big, fat lateral buds. Now you've known, when we taught all our other trees, the terminal buds like the big bud, right? And the laterals are always kind of small. These have as big and plump of laterals as they do the terminal. There's no real difference in size. And that, that's kind of conspicuous looking, because most things, the laterals are smaller than the And then one other thing, which is sometimes kind of hard to see unless I cheat and grab a leaf that looks just like one. It's said that the leaf is some overall, and I have to kind of trace it, overall bell shape. Like this is the little clangy part of the bell. I don't know what that's technically called, the clanger. I don't know. It's a, this is the side of the bell here. You kind of see that? Fill in the lobe, right? Bell-shaped leaf. But then, you know, you pull off you pull off this one, and you're like, it looks like a bell? You know? Really? But you'll even see that mentioned in some textbooks, that the leaf has sort of a bell shape. I would use it's a very shrubby, dusty, tan fuzz underneath, down on the twig. And then the terminal buds as big and plump, or the lateral bud as big and plump as the terminal bud.